You know, I've produced a lot of great ones, but he's my most memorable. He's not just a talent. He's like he's like a a wise man, a prophet. He's way beyond just being a, a musical artist. And he probably could have done fantastically well if he had continued. When I met him, they said, uh, Rodriguez, this is Steve Rowland. He really likes your album. And, and Rodriguez said to me, well, did you, did you like Cold, Cold Facts? I said, man, I thought it was absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I can't believe that this album didn't do anything. It's just a fantastic album. So he played me what his next album was. Uh, he had, in those days, he had cassettes. He had demos of this next album he was going to call Coming From Reality. And uh, I said, wow, man, this has got to be a smash. These are great songs. A little bit, little bit different from the others, I said, but great songs. I said, and a couple of them were so sad. You know, there's one in there that's absolutely a killer. It's one of the saddest songs that, I'm laughing, but it's one of the saddest songs that uh, I've ever heard. And it's a very simple song. Hang on, I want to play this. Hang on. Okay, listen to these words. Because I lost my job Two weeks before Christmas Oh, man. And I talked to Jesus at the sewer And the Pope said it was none of his goddamn business While the rain drank champagne my Estonian archangel came and got me wasted Cause the sweetest kiss I ever got Is the one I've never tasted And it really makes me sad because that was the last song that we recorded and that was the last song that Rodriguez ever recorded. And what makes it even sadder was the album was released in November of 1971. And we expected big things, and it did absolutely nothing. And then, two weeks before Christmas, Sussex dropped him off the label. And the very first line in the song, as if premonition was, I lost my job two weeks before Christmas. Oh, man. I just think about that. This guy deserves recognition. Nobody in America had even heard of him. Nobody... Nobody even was interested in listening to him. How can that be? How can that be? A guy that writes like this. I mean. Cause they told me everybody's gotta pay their dues. And I explained that I had overpaid them. Cause the smell of her perfume echoes in my head still. 